So if you've been watching like my channel for a long time, then you'd know that before I made a kidnapping channel, or well, it was kind of a kidnapping channel, channel, not channel, a kidnapping story. It was like when I went out with some friends and then you know like got drunk and then my friends nearly got kidnapped. Like my girl, there was friends with those girls, not not girlfriends. Like, I don't know how to, I don't know how to say the shit properly. So yeah, basically, um, yeah, this is the return of the kidnapping story, but this time. It's like when I was much younger, I was think I think I was around, I was like 11, uh, that was when I was a fucking like autistic kid, um, sorry, sorry about the autism. I think the uh, the audio, as I said, it would be, it's been much higher quality in my videos, like, recently, and I actually can't get, like, I can't get over it, how, how good it sounds. So yeah, with, without, with, like, all that out the way, we can, um, we can finally get back into into the story and actually I'll actually tell you what I'm tell you what I'm gonna say because why shouldn't I why why should I leave you hanging? So yeah, I'm not going to. I'm not gonna leave you hanging because you know you're my boys. You're my bros. You I that was like a mixture just then between like boys and bros. I mean I uh, oh ooh. never do it again. Never. Never so yeah, um, I'm actually going to get into it without um, fucking prolonging this video even more. Um, so yeah, when I was that age, as I said, I was like, if you're English, you'll know what I mean. This is just like a, this is a disclaimer, kind of. I think it's a disclaimer that this is like what, what a disclaimer is, but you know, I'm not really sure. I'm just going to say it's a disclaimer regardless. And PG tips, if you've ever seen them, I'll put a screen, like a screenshot of, of the monkey, their, their mascot, I think it is, or... Or just just something that you'd you'd identify their brand like with um yeah and I was I was obsessed with this monkey because I was like I was so young I don't think I was eleven actually that's a bit too old I was I was probably about eight eight ish maybe I, I don't know um don't quote me on that because I, I'm probably going to be wrong so yeah I was as I said I was like obsessed with these and um basically like yeah um the only way you could get like a certain one which i wanted because you know i was obsessed with them so i wanted to obviously like get a collection and i was doing this by by going to fucking car boots because they was like the the only place that seemed to have like the rare the rare ones well i think the rare they're not really i don't know i don't know why we just didn't go off ebay and yeah so we went to one like me, my mum and my dad and I think my brother came along with me actually my mum and dad like went went to um do something and in these car boot sales, well, it was like a car boot sale. I don't know if I've said that yet, but in these car boot sales, there's always like, um, like big, big donut van, not donut, like a hot dog, like, like little, um, little, little, um, like trailer van kind of things, which basically like serve food, like burgers, um, cheeseburgers, whatever, you know, like one of those things, like it's like a, a mini portable restaurant, but it's all fucking greasy and tastes like shit. And it's probably like got rat poison in it. I mean, um, <laughs> It's not a nice thing to eat. <laughs> it's probably like the greasiest thing you could ever, ever get. But that was literally, I just spoke for so long without going wrong. I mean, Jesus Christ, I've never actually done that before. Um, so yeah, like, my mum and dad went to do something. I think they went to take some, like, some shit back to the car or get something out the car, like the wallet or something. I don't even know. But yeah, um, my brother, like, got a, um, went to get a, one of those, he went to get something from that, like, burger van kind of thing. Um... And I was just stood there, he like told me to wait there, I wasn't exactly far away from him, I was like, I don't know, I'd probably say about six foot away from him maybe, something about that, I don't know, it was fucking ages ago, it was like, I don't know how many years ago, but it was, it was a long time ago, to say the least. Yeah, basically, like while he was getting served, um... This guy like came up to me and he was like, he was like, he was like all creepy and shit and he just came up to me, he had like the, the generic paedophile look, big, big belly pot noodle stains down his shirt and you know that that weird comb over here that some pedophiles have he looked like, kind of like ted bundy i'm not gonna lie he did kind of look like ted bundy ted bundy's kind of good looking i'm not gonna lie yeah but this guy basically came up to me uh, and he was like hey 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 bro <laughs> you your parents told me to, to look for you and tell you to to follow me and c come back here come back to the car so so they can give you a surprise. And I was literally, even at that age, I knew, I knew he was fucking pedo because I've always knew the look of a pedo. I don't know why, it was just, it was just a, it was just, it was just a thing I knew, I'm not going to lie, but, um, yeah, this guy tried to kidnap me and tell me that my parents, and then my brother turned around and he was like, oi, rude boy. Nah, I don't know what he did. I think I just walked away and told him, oh, my parents there and said my brother was my parent one. 
when my brother was like 12 years old, I mean, uh, you know, it, like, it kind of works out, doesn't it? I mean, whatever, I, I don't know. So yeah, basically, I nearly got fucking kidnapped at car boot sale, and yeah, well, why me? I mean, if you kidnapped me, I'd literally be the most annoying person ever, like, why would you want me? I'd probably just be there. I, he'd kidnap me and I'd just be in the back of the van or, or car or whatever he'd kidnap me in. And, and I'd just be sat there, like, fucking singing like bones or something. I'd be like, I don't even know. I'd just, I'd just be really annoying. I'd never kidnap myself. Well, obviously, because I can't kidnap myself. <clears throat> oh, Autistic Statements with Steve, episode one. Uh, that's what I should make a series on my channel. Oh, my God. So, <laughs> yeah, um, this video was actually really short. It's... It's only 13 minutes in the recording, and usually it gets to about 24, maybe? 24, yeah, 24 minutes. Um, so yeah, I'm sorry about that. This video is really short, and the last two videos have really lacked, like, an entertainment factor. I'm sorry for that. Because the stories I'm telling don't really have a long thing to them, but, you know, with that out of the way, I'm going to do my regular intro. If you like the video, then um, like it, and if you didn't like it, then dislike it, and if you knew and you liked it, subscribe, brother. I don't know what that accent was at the end. It was like some weird, weird, um, I don't know what it was. <laughs> so yeah, uh, thanks for watching, and yeah, I love you, bro.